Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I got a review, but it's not really a tool. It's more of a product. Now, I don't tend to do these a lot, but this is one of these products that I really, really love. And I just did a headlight restoration video and I used this product and the headlights came out fantastic. And for those of you that may be curious of what it is, I figured I'd make this video just to kind of review it. So what we have in front of us is a headlight coating, guys. Now, the way you use this is once you restore your headlight, and what that means is you take out the yellowness and you do one of those kits that sand it down. You take out any sort of fogginess in the lens or in everything and you clear it up and you get it restored to a perfect clear condition. If you only use the kit and you bring it clear and then you don't use a product like this, guys, you're only doing about 90% of the steps and the last 10% will pretty much fade away. All right, guys, so we are standing in front of a Acura TL. Now, if you guys will notice, uh, something looks very off here. Now, the more obvious thing that you guys will notice is that this side has some green masking tape all over it, and this side does not. Now, aside from the masking tape being on this side, guys, if you guys notice a visual difference is that this thing is shining really, really nicely. It looks very, very beautiful. And this one, it's actually pretty clear, but it's not quite shining like this one is. Well, here's the thing. This car had really bad headlights. They were really yellowed out. You guys have seen this car in previous videos, and if you guys kind of go back to one of those, you'll see how horrible they were. I'll actually try to add a clip in here of when I restored the headlights on how bad they looked before and after. So the differences here is this side has the Meguiar's coating and this side does not. Now what I'm gonna do is kind of zoom you guys in and kind of show you guys the differences. Now this is the coated headlight. As you guys can see, the clarity and everything is perfect. And these are original headlights, guys. These have been on this car for about, eh, I wanna say 20 years now. This thing's a 2002. So if you look at this passenger side headlight, it's actually pretty clear as well. I went ahead and I did a restoration where I sanded it down and polished it up. And this was the end result after I got all of the yellowing off. And if you guys can see, it's pretty good, but it's not quite 100%. Uh, most people would be happy with this, but I prefer to take it the extra 10% and go to 100 and fully coated so I can get them to look exactly the same. So what I'm going to do here is just give you guys a quick visual on how I do this and kind of review this product and show you guys how easy it is to use. So let me get you guys set up. All right, guys, so I have you guys set up and obviously I masked off the car beforehand. This stuff is a clear coat, so you got to be careful not to get overspray everywhere. And I'm doing this inside of the garage where there's not a lot of airflow. So what you do is you're going to take your product and you're going to go ahead and shake it. Now, I like to kind of spray a little bit and clear my nozzle out. And then look at how easy this is to apply, guys. You're going to start off with a very light coat. And you can do two to three coats on this. Now, my preferred method is one light coat and then two medium coats after about five minutes in between of drying time. Depending on where you live, that may vary, but just to kind of give you guys an idea. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and do my first light coat. I'm not going to show you guys every step of this process. This is just a review video. So you're going to see how big of a drastic uh, impact it is just with one light coat of this stuff, guys. So let me go ahead and spray this down. I start off on the top, and what I'm going to do is overlap about 50% and just kind of cover my whole headlight. So let me go ahead and do that. So if you guys can kind of see right from there, this headlight is already looking pretty good. It has that like lustrous shine. If you guys also notice it doesn't have that much of a foggy look. And this is just from a very light coat, which is my base coat. Now I'm going to finish this up, you know, off camera. I just kind of wanted to show you guys how this product is. And you guys can see with just one light coat, it's already looking pretty good. Now, just to bring you guys back in here, I try to get the same angle that I had before I sprayed this headlight down. But if you guys can see, the difference between this and this now is actually not that far off. Now, this light only has one coating on it. I'm not going to sit here and do a whole review video of me spraying it and showing you guys how to use it. If you do want to see that, I do have the restoration video where I use this product, but I don't specifically you know, go all out and just make it about this product. And you guys can see how I did that, the steps to get your headlight looking like this. But I just wanted to show you guys a clear difference uh, between it being not coated previously and now that I did one spray coating on it. 
And you guys can see it does bring back a lot of luster and shine and it does protect the headlight. All right, guys, so I gave you guys a before and after of this product. Hopefully you guys can see the difference. Now that headlight is currently drying up on the first coat and I'm gonna do my second and my third coat. Uh, but you guys saw in just that one first light coat, it came out very, very beautiful. And I just show you guys the end result on the driver's side headlight when it is fully done in three stages. Now that's the way I do it. Uh, this product has completely different uh, directions on how to use it. They actually recommend two coats. However, I like doing three coats. It's always worked for me. And that's what was recommended to me by my detailing buddy. So that's what I use. All right, guys, so I want to make something absolutely clear here. I am not paid by Meguiar's and Meguiar's did not give me this product. I bought this product with my own money. I have used it. I found that it works. Therefore, I review it. I'm sure you guys are kind of aware if you've watched this style of video on my channel before that everything that I do on this channel as far as a tool review is something that I paid for that I already own and it was not given to me. Even though this isn't a sponsored video, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a link down below where you guys can purchase this product on Amazon. Now I am a Amazon Associates affiliate member and the way that it works, if you guys use the link down below to purchase this product off of Amazon, what they do is they give me a referral fee for basically suggesting it to you guys and you guys purchasing it from Amazon. And that definitely helps the channel grow. Uh, these videos are a little bit time consuming guys and the editing software and everything is not cheap. So if you guys do plan on purchasing it, use the link down below. That helps throw a little bit of money my way so I can keep up with the production of videos and everything and I greatly appreciate it. So with that said guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys don't plan on using this product, hopefully you found this information very informative or at least entertaining at the very least. And I just want to say, please comment, like, and subscribe. It'll definitely help my channel grow. I'll see you guys on the next repair and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.